everybody. We're going to do a mountain pass today. This is the last pilot before you go down uh, Kajon Pass, I-15, right into L.A. It's starting to be a big drop here in about five miles. But for the moment, we're, we're still climbing. This section here, uh, you know, uh, if, if you're coming out of LA, you gotta climb up that big old hill. It takes a long time. And once you get up to the top, one, one of my favorite things uh, I like to do is uh, if, if the load on your truck is balanced just right usually I can set to like first level Jake and just cruise down this thing for like 20 miles never have to step on the gas once to get far enough last night. I didn't really have to deal too much with the uh, Sunday return traffic from uh, Vegas. I mean, that's kind of what a lot of this is, but I'm not worried about it at this point because we got four lanes. It's just between uh, uh, Prim and uh, Barstow that I don't like because the highway is still two lane there. They they really need to expand that up up to three. You know, it's it's three from Prim to Vegas. It's it's uh it's at least three from Barso to to LA. But you got this one point that's just two lanes. some low cloud cover today. I'm going to be kind of uh, disappointed if, if LA has, uh, has an inversion going on and I don't get to enjoy, enjoy my sun the rest of the day. All, all I have to do at this point is just go down this hill and go uh, stop it at the truck stop. That's it. Go, go, gonna go do some laundry, get some meat. I stopped at the rest area last night, so I haven't had breakfast or anything yet. I haven't, haven't made, been able to get my hands on, on my coffee. deal with most of that storm last night all the way up until the rest area it was you know uh, the rain really really lit off by the time I got to like Vegas and stuff like that but uh, you know I still, still get kept getting spackles here and there so I get windy it's it's still a little windy it's not horrible but I definitely feel it Here we go.
This is actually one of those passes. Drug speed 45. Uh, that students can can get a uh, credit on when they're going through through the training. Now I I actually failed mine on the first time. Uh, not 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 because I couldn't do the pass. It's just the uh, trainer and I were really butting heads at the time. You know, uh, we, we came in during a rush hour. <coughs> yeah, it looks like we do have an inversion today. Damn. Uh, you know, the trainer that, that, that I had each time we came into like a, a major city and stuff like that, like I said, you know, we, we were coming in during rush hour, so it was already slow. And, you know, he kept freaking out because of all of the traffic. And his, his stressing out was stressing me out. I think most of this part we were only doing like 20 miles per hour of that uh, you know he kept he kept want, telling me to watch my lane and stuff because he thought I was going too far over here so I'd move over like a couple inches this way and then he's like well you go on the line I'm like well what choice do you want and as we got towards the bottom of the uh, of uh, this area here, uh, you know, the traffic started to clear up and move forward and he said, yeah, you know, you can go ahead and speed up the traffic now. I'm like, well, I don't really want to. And he's like, well, you felt this pass. I'm like, fine, I don't care. <laughs> I, 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 was, I was way too pissed at that, 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 that point to deal with it. I think, if I remember, that was actually the night that I was like, uh, I was starting to, to uh, call people and be like, I don't know if, if I could do this or not. I ended up calling uh, the uh, counselor and explaining it to him. Uh, I think that's what got me moved over to uh, a different trainer at that point. guy just could not handle uh, populated er areas. Now me personally, I love coming into LA. You know, I've, I've probably been here like a hundred times since, since that night. And it never bothers me. It's just you know, it's just another day. One of the times I was coming down this ramp, again, it was like during the rush hour time. Uh, there was not one, but two trucks on, on, on this ramp. And I was trying to figure out what was going on. And then there was like another one parked on the end here. It looked like his, uh, one of the houses for his radiator blew. But yeah, there was like two trucks side by side. I was like, and I'm wondering if they both just had a problem or if one hit the other and then like they, they lost brakes or something. I need to choose the train. Gotta slow her down again. drivers ignore the the uh, speed limit no one really in, in, enforces it either now of course that's not me telling you you know just go ahead and go ball balls to the wall down this thing
go down this hill at, 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 at a different speed, that's, 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 your, that's your risk to take. the scales. Now this side, the side going downhill. Oh come on guys, you got plenty of, of time to get on. Come on. I'm only doing 45 here. Uh, this side going downhill, I have never seen this side open, ever. There was a sign back there, the scales closed. Now, this side coming out has, has been open. Numerous occasions. It's gonna love wild for a little bit and then we'll go through like another little drop. You do it. No, no. God damn it. And they're not speeding up. God damn it. I'm stuck at like 50 until they get far enough ahead of me. see trucks parked up in, in, in these spots up here all along there I like to stop up there before I actually come down Sign there said uh, LA 60 miles. They're, they're talking about LA itself. LA, 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 you know. Uh, the whole area is pretty much considered LA. But what I'm doing is, God damn you people. What I'm doing is going to the greater LA. LA area now. I'm heading down to Ontario. I 
know you I know that you're thinking it buddy yeah yeah that's what I thought that's what I thought uh-huh I need to close this gap between me and this pickup truck because that's what they're all doing I want to get past this pickup truck now, now I'm just going too fast breaking the speed limit did it right on the hill. Boy, it sure is gray down here, isn't it? bypasses two lanes I like to stay on the left because it it does two lanes for like a quarter mile and then anyone has to merge back back together I don't like I said I don't understand like like the logic behind a lot of this stuff Pushing 60. What do you think this guy's doing? Speed limit in California is 55. You think he's going 55? I know where, where he's going too. I know exactly where he's going. I've picked up from that place a few times. See, immediately, right lane lane ends. Man, the truck wants to move. <laughs>
that's not 65. If I were taking this load directly to the shipper, uh, back there on the bypass, we had that at the split. The other split was 215. That would actually be the one that I, the, that I would be taking. Okay, my, my load is actually dropping off uh, over in this direction, Rialto. Rialto is next to Fontana. San Bernardino. We got Riverside to the uh, south of all of us. And right here on my right is Rancho Cucamonga. This is Friday. You ain't got you ain't got no job, ain't got nothing to do. I'm gonna get you out today. Rancho Cucamonga.
Now on 15 here, a lot of times between uh, 10 and CA60, you tend to see a, see a bit of a backup. Luckily we won't, you know, we shouldn't have to deal with anything like that. And as for 10, we're going to get on 10, we're just immediately going, going to get off. The very, very first exit, which is uh, Millican Avenue. We got the two uh, truck stops there. If you keep going down, down on the road, uh, you know, down, down the south, Millican, uh, you'll go to our drop yard. It's actually a drop yard used by a whole bu bunch of people. So, in case, in case we got a load and we show up like days early, uh, they'll actually just, just, just tell us to go take the uh, trailer down to the drop yard. Fact that 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 one was kind of funny too. I I was running a, a load down here, and I pinned in like a running late message all, all the way back in in Vegas because I, I I wasn't quite going to make it. So I swapped with a team because they were running ahead of schedule on theirs. I got their, their, their load, made made the uh, delivery for that one, and then uh, they asked me to go pick up a trailer at, at, at the job yard to go, go do a short run to another building. And I go down there and I see the trailer that I gave the uh, team. And uh, there was a mechanic working on it. One of the doors got ripped off. Apparently the team had an issue when they were backing into a dock. One of these fancy houses has a pool that uh, I that I like to look at. It's you know it's not a big pool or anything, but it's it, you know it's got. It's got like these little fountains of jets, or, I don't know, jets of water uh, shooting out into the pool. It's a, uh, it's a cool, cool little setup. And again, I'm pushing 60. What do you think he's doing? getting in front of me. Uh, no, he doesn't want to get in front of me. I think it's this one right here. Yeah, that's his pool. Sit there on your side. And you 
you can't get back over it, and I need this lane. I absolutely need this lane. Now, this is all Rancho Cucamonga as well. It's uh, the split is right on, on I-10. Uh, so Ontario is on the south side of it. And Ranch of Cucamonga is on the north side. I had a pickup. Uh, it was... I had to pick up at two places. One was... Uh, just down the uh, street from, from, from the truck stop. And the other one was like a mile up in, in, in Rancho. Over, buddy. I am coming over. So you guys cannot pay attention to, to, to turn signals. Again, I, I don't like to get into the right lane too often because it, it immediately merges back into this one. That guy's going to take the shoulder. Look at that. He's way over there on the shoulder. What is he doing? Are you drunk? Now, this is the one part I don't like. I really hate this part. I gotta do a double lane. Although, I'm getting lucky here. This guy wants to creep up on me. See, you get on the tin, you immediately get right back off. I mean, it's it it, it, it doesn't even wait. take this road directly ahead of us that will take you over and get you over to like TK uh, <coughs> the camera shop a little sister's truck stop Looks like I was right. It took me uh, pretty much exactly two hours to get down here. Yeah, the company don't like us doing this, but I find it easier just to get this done now. Just go straight across like that. Because I'm going to go to this truck stop on this side, the Petro. I prefer the Petro over the TA.
they just, you know, they've got like a newer building, uh, some better food options. I can get, I can get my, my Popeye's chicken here. I think the TA's got a better diner though. The one time I went to the diner at this place, uh, I, uh, I got a steak and the steak was a joke. It was it was a joke. It wasn't even like the funny kind of joke. I, I, I kind of cried because that was a horrible steak. One of the common things that you'll see here, you know, we all, you know, you know, the trucks always have to use this lane. We have to do the the uh, wide turn. One of the common things that 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 you tend to see is a trucker will a lot of times go into the left lane because he wants to take a shortcut, and that means that his trail is going to cut close to, to 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 the people over there, and it makes us have to go wider. You just see what that guy did. That guy came in behind me. He came in behind me back here. He went over here. He flipped around and just went across. What a punk move. So yeah, I don't I don't do the diner here very often. Uh, the saving grace though is in in the fuel fuel aisle. You know the 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 uh, the fuel aisle store. Uh, they always have like like a little deli or whatever you you want to call it. Uh, and, and they have like the, the dinner choices. You don't do it that way, man. You come to this lane first, and then you move over. If there had been a car that you would have just wiped them out. Damn, you're slow. Trucks are not supposed to park in this open area, but a lot of times you usually find them there. They also park on, on, on the street. You're not supposed to park on the street, but you'll see a lot of them park there too. See? Looks like today it's just a single. I gotta wait until Pride gets up there a little bit more before I can start making my turn in. This driveway can hold two trucks. This is a pay lot. You 
usually it tells you. Um, it's like twenty dollars a, a night. Unless you buy like a certain amount of fuel or you get like $25 in goods which that doesn't bother me because usually each morning I buy stuff anyways and uh, the great thing about my my little bad habit is that it's really expensive in the state of, of, of California so I buy two packs of cigarettes and I you know I pretty much have, have made my my payment but even if you don't I mean you know you come in you get something to eat and that's like half half your payment right there I'm very particular about where I park. My row is this row. I like this row. I don't like to be on the other side because a lot of times in the morning there's a lot of traffic. It's really hard, hard to get out of the spot. We might actually be pretty full. got here we got my spot I'm past it right up back over here so like he's off to go do, do some laundry himself between the vehicles. I like the spots here. They're, they're easy to, to get into. away yes and yes there we go that's it but back to talking about the rows um, there's like there's about three rows up up by the store itself I don't like to park in those because the aisle is is a lot thinner uh, and it makes 
parking a little bit harder. I, I have actually have done it there, and and I did it there, even with a messed up uh, uh, parking job of the truck next to me. Uh, so the guy that I was I was trying to get around was parked like so much farther out than what he should have been been doing so I had to actually go around him and then like curve in sharp uh, to get in that one spot and the only reason why I did that spot was because it was the only one I could find in the entire parking lot yeah I don't I don't like the rows up front yeah it's closer to to the store itself but you know the the uh, aisle that, that you go down is a lot thinner I don't like the the uh, row that's behind me because like I said uh, a lot of times in the morning you know a lot of these trucks are all going out at, at the same time and you end up getting these huge lines and it's really hard to, to pull out and, and join join that line I love the new Max that's just such a weird look but I like it and then uh and then you got this row back here, which is usually my secondary row. Uh, aside from that, there's more parking on the back end. I don't, I don't go back there unless, unless I don't have uh, much of another option. There's a little bit more walk to to the main store itself. Uh, if I'm not gonna do laundry or anything like that, then I don't mind it so so much. Uh, you know, I I just use the uh, the fuel iron iron store, which currently I don't know if you can see in the mirror very well. Directly behind me is the fuel island, and the store is right there. I you know I get out of this, I just walk walk between there and and can walk right directly in, in into the store, which is what I'm going to do in a few minutes because I I want my uh, breakfast burrito. Uh, but I can go directly back there for, for food and drinks and and restroom it's all really really close and for things like 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 laundry and shower I just walk on on over here to this or and you know it's 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 like the perfect distance I, I think that's why I like this this main road right here you know you come in you just swoop right, right on over here and find the spot and pull in <sighs> all right there we go <sighs> 11 miles away it's due at seven o'clock in the morning i'll probably leave at like 5 30 or something like that just get there early and i got a pre-plan too that's actually picking up from the exact same place except it's doing it in the evening so hopefully if I'm lucky they'll unload me pretty fast and I'll be able to just get right on back here actually what what I want to do is get this truck over to the TK uh, I, I wish I could have done it today because I've got all the time in the world but TK is not open on Sundays uh, I really want to get my APU fixed so what I'm going to, what I'm thinking about doing, uh, one, when I get to that, uh, to that uh, target there, you know, I'm I'm going to tell them that I'm dropping off and picking up, and I'm uh, I'm going to see if I could just talk them into uh, just just let me drop the the uh, trailer off, and they could offload it and reload it. Uh, if that's the case, then I'll bobtail over to the uh, TK. Uh, if if they're gonna make me wait, then we'll get unloaded, and then I'll I'll make my way over to the TK. Uh, probably set myself for sleeper eight. I don't know I don't know how how long the TK will will take. Uh, I'm not gonna have a whole lot of miles to play with. Home messaging. You have five hours and forty-eight minutes of okay. remaining drive time. I should say hours. I'm, I'm going to have uh, just under nine hours by by the time I'm done a day. Uh, so 
that's not going to be a whole lot to uh, deal with uh, tomorrow. I probably won't get a lot of driving. But uh, let's see, twenty-four. I uh, pick up tomorrow, and then I'll have uh, details. Details. Load is 1300 miles, 1320. Uh, if, if I were to push it, I could make that in like two days. I, I won't be able to do that though. Home messaging you have five hours and 46 minutes of remaining drive time. I figure I, I, would, I would probably have about seven hours of driving there, but that's when my stuff is going to start coming back up. I was gaining two days. Nine hours and twenty minutes. So tomorrow that number is going to move up one, and uh, it says that it's due at two thirty. Um, so that'll give me plenty of time on the last day. And what I could do is probably get down, you know, the easiest route to uh, Texas. Will, will most likely be 10 and then go to where it splits into 20 20 will take you right right up to Fort Worth Dallas and Denton's on the north end of uh, Fort Worth so I could probably stop somewhere along uh, 20 and then uh, f finish that run next you know next job is 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 already planned out Okie doke. I'm gonna get out. I'm gonna do my PTI. And then I'm gonna go get me something to eat. And then I'm gonna go do laundry and all that. So you guys have fun.